Hey guys, Bobby Bollinger here, and today I'll be bringing you my predictions for the wild card week of NFL's 2017 playoffs. Now this is when things get really interesting. Winner take all, teams fighting for everything they're worth. This should be a fun week. Unlike last week for me, which was really bad. Now I will say that I don't expect anyone to do well in week 17 going into this that week. I knew it. I only sound confident there for the video's sake. Because week 1 and week 17, I've noticed, are 50-50s every single time. So don't feel too bad if you uh, were really bad that week either. It happens. But I still have a record of 155 to 101, so that's nice. Oh. Yep. Only the elite teams get into the playoffs, guys. Only the elites. Well, the Raiders were elite, yes, until Carr got injured. Now, what's going to be the difference in this game where neither team is really certain on its quarterback. I think the difference is going to be the Raiders have weapons that their new quarterback can use while the Texans do not. Now, the Raiders quarterback, even with these weapons, he's not going to be Derek Carr. Probably. But at the same time, he's also not going to be Brock Osweiler. So he'll be, you know, expect something decent out of him. And with those weapons and a decent quarterback, the Raiders should be able to pull off a win. Meanwhile, it's kind of interesting on the Texan side because Brock Osweiler finally gets his side at the playoffs after having been benched. So he's definitely got something to prove and maybe... Maybe that makes him play better. It's hard to tell because this is basically com a, a completely untested game for the playoffs. The Raiders haven't been here in God knows how long. The Texans are basically a new team from what they were last year, for better or worse. But I'll give it to the Raiders in a tight defensive game. We'll, uh, I mean, no matter who wins, they're probably just going to lose next week. Which, in the Raiders' case, would probably mean the Patriots, oh god. Oh well, Raiders, you can maybe look forward to a win in the playoffs. For the first time in a long time. Next up, you know, the first day of playoffs... Both games are against our teams, against teams that are basically in their situation. Raiders and Texans both have issues at their quarterback. And the Lions and Seahawks have lost all of their momentum heading into the playoffs. Lions suddenly started losing a bunch heading into the playoffs. Which, it's not too surprising. But the Seahawks... Ever since that, I believe it's Earl Thomas injury, they've definitely been going downhill. So neither of these teams have any momentum going into the playoffs, but one of them does have to win and maybe that'll revitalize their momentum? Who knows? As it is, I'm, I'm definitely foreseeing a Seahawks victory. I mean, for one, it's at the Seahawks place, which is... A hard, hard thing to beat. But also, because it's a really good matchup, the Lions struggle against quarterbacks who can move around, and that's basically Russell Wilson's thing. So he'll be able to light up the Lions all night long, at the very least. Meanwhile, Seahawks' defense has really taken a blow after that injury, but it's a do enough at this point. 
And Seahawks offense will get going against the Lions' paltry defense. Seahawks should definitely be able to take this. Okay. Only the elite teams, guys. Only the elite teams. Well, the Dolphins put up an interesting season. But nobody expects them to win this game now. May if they replicate their performance from the last time they took on the Steelers, they'll definitely win. They won last time, they'll win this time if they do that. But everything says Steelers win. I mean, it is just an amazing matchup for the Steelers. They're against a team that loves to run the ball, while their defense is basically made for stuffing the run. And while it'll give up the pass, Dolphins aren't that good at the pass. So, on the defensive side, Steelers, well done. They should, they should hold them to pretty much nothing. It'll be last year's Texans on that side. Meanwhile, on offense, the Steelers have a quarterback who can move around to kind of miti mitigate the fact that the Dolphins have a good pass rush. But the secondary of the Dolphins, eh, eh, really bad, really, really bad. Holy crap. That was horrible. Steelers should be able to light up the Dolphins in the passing game with ease, no questions asked. And finally, Packers beating Giants. The Packers are on a hot streak here. As are the Giants. Now the Giants' defense is what's putting them on a hot streak, it is playing like champions. It's basically replacing the Seahawks. But Giants offense is terrible. They went from last year having one of the best offenses to this year having one of the worst. And they're going up against the Packers who are getting their defense going again. So I just cannot believe, I cannot believe believe that the Packers could lose this game. Aaron Rodgers is on a roll. The defense is back in shape. Everything's going right for them. The only thing missing is their running game. But even without that, Aaron Rodgers moving around should be able to help open up some receivers, and the Giants just won't be able to handle it. And those are my predictions for the week. Not too many games, but Tell me who you think will win, and I'll see you next time. Get it.